Shalom, shalom, shalom. Peace and greetings, family. Peace and greetings. Did you kill folk, Jose Omar? Say peace and greetings. I just want to talk to y'all about some stuff today. That's why I'm just doing some talking. Just doing some talking. And I just want to share some thoughts with you. The colored, I forget what I even named this. I forget what I named it. But in the meantime, I'm going to tell you all this setup, spiritual setup. Now, The federal government, my brothers, the most high, the community, I make no qualms about my medical marijuana use or my use of marijuana for medicinal purpose. Now get this. I went to two places. Now I'm gonna, let's start out with this. For those that know or may not know, right? Let me put something wrong, put this down. Something that's not gonna uh, get me, uh, what do they call that? Let me put my shit on here. Put it low. Find some old videos I used to do. Now we got over a thousand videos, man. And you would think people might have came and checked it out. Like I got this one I made a year ago. Uh the Gentile Christ, or who is the Lamb for sins? We'll put this one. That's what's called. Who is the Lamb for sins? All right. Then we got Jesus, Magi, Dorothy, and Oz. The Mahdi and the C Illuminati. I mean, we we have tons and tons of information. Greetings. This is your kinfolk of Mon Jose. So rock with this while I take care of this real quick. Listen to this. And I got three phones going on here. To, my, to your right, which is my left, Instagram, big ups. To my front camera, my Facebook, not see my tongue falling, this is going wrong. To my left, which is my right, to our Instagram brothers and sisters, peace. To the front camera, to my Facebook brothers and sisters, peace. To my right, which is your left, is, uh, who is this over there? YouTube, brothers and sisters, peace and greetings. Who is the Lamb of God? Who is the light of God? Who is the coming Messiah? Where does the bloodline of the Messiah come from? And who was born without sin? All right? And we're going to show you to you in Scripture and on the Internet and through history. We're going to go backwards. And we're going to start from, I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and I'm in the end. Why is that so important? Why in the beginning and at the end is so important? Let's get to it. Dear Holy Father, I bow my head down to you and say thank you. We ask for your permission to speak to your children. We ask for we're going to speak to the ethers and put these things in their ears and their hearts that they may saturate from the truth and, and, and eradicate the lies that's been taught to us since we were children. 
to eradicate the lie that was embedded in us in our DNA, in our in our essence, while we was in our mother's wombs and in our father's penises. We ask that you would let your divine light, your divine wisdom shine through any darkness that we may have or may be experiencing yesterday, today, and in the future. Oh God, I ask for permission to speak to your children. We ask for permission to speak your name, your words. And we ask that you would intensify and electrify and magnify your divine will in our life. All right, part of Holy Spirit, I come to talk before you and after you. We say thank you. Say that. All right. All right. So this trap started out with my scooter. Cop is mad because the scooter's not stolen. I don't have no drugs. I didn't get a urine analysis. Nothing. Nothing. I get nothing. So, mind you, I'm not on drugs. Don't feel drugs. None of that shit, right? Life is good. Got my own spot again. We good. Got a little income. Got something to do. Got my own lane. I'm not gonna rob and steal nothing, right? So because of this cop, right? Our future's in the balance of <coughs> do I have to get out? <coughs> Report you some bitch ass nigga <coughs> if I want to go out of town. Because this racist ass cop don't like the fact that I would dress nice on a nice ass scooter and he fucked up and so trying to jump up on the charges on me for no reason. That's a problem. Because to the judge, it's only a job. To them, it's just a job. And this job gives them the false ideology that, well, I'll put them in jail, do my job, and let my job fix that shit. With no care that when you you doing your job, you fucking people's life up from poor judgment, ego, Vainglory, and because you have a badge, a sense of false power, and then you go home. They go home and they feel good about this shit. That's weird. So now, next phase. A matter drug or alcohol addict. I have medical marijuana since 1995 up to 2023 now. And so, I mean, it's not 2023 to me, but for the sake of this matrix, all right. So I'm looking at this picture here. I go to this, because on the paper, they want me to get an assessment because I'm on pretrial bond for my report. You know. I'm like, all right, cool. But I'm like, when the cop harassed me, I wasn't on drugs and alcohol. I didn't come from a bar or nothing like that. I came from a store to get some cigarettes, and there was a little too much I wanted to spend, so I was going to was going to look like the cigarettes. I was going to a third place and then go home. 
I'm a nicotine addict. See, they didn't, they didn't have drug testing for nicotine. Why? Then they're testing for caffeine. Why? Well, we know why. So we're not going to bog the people down with that. You know, we know why. But here's the shit. I get to this one place. And I'd share with them, look, uh, look, I'm that, you know, I'm here because of a poor judgment, a racist, crooked cop, and can you please give me a urine test for a crack, hair on, any opiates other than Marijuana, because that's my medication. All my doctors from state to state says, cool, because I don't take no other medication for my injuries other than my marijuana. So I'm not going to spend 150 every, you know, look. No. So... The lady, before she even say something to me, because I talked to her on the phone, she said, if you get marijuana in your system, I'm recommending you a program. Bitch, is you crazy? Tell us again. Protect your emotions. Cause I'm about to go in on some of you professionals that think you're gonna hustle every person that coming to y'all doors as the courts use you to trap people. They use, listen, y'all, the courts are using these programs to trap you. They know transportation is messed up. They know who will be able to make it to these appointments or not. They know. Tell you they know. Speaking of my ear, real quick, y'all. It's clogged up. Ah. I feel like I'm having like a. Ooh. But anyway. They know. As soon as I walk through the door, fam, she didn't say, hey, we're going to test you for crack. We're going to test you for pills and crystal meth and, you know, we're, we're. she ran straight to, if you get marijuana in your system, we're going to put you in a program. I cussed that cracker bitch out, man. 
I said, bitch, the sun don't like you, neither do I. I said, God hates you, and so do I, bitch. That's why your cracker ass cannot come out in the sun, and that's why your ass get to spend all that money on motherfucking air conditioners and shit and, and materials so your skin can breathe without getting turned wet to go to a snail. There's only two things that happen to crackers, man. They either turn to snails and get moist and slimy, or they drive them and get burnt. I'm checking out. Go to an event and do some observation, and you'll see burnt or slimy. Then you might get, if you're real good at it, you get slimy burnt and burnt slime. And that shit's more like dog. That's why you smell that dog shit. Some already know it. Just from that little bit of knowledge. You trying to hustle my my soul. You want me to go in there, right? And say, fuck my personal life. Pay three hundred dollars for a medical marijuana car so you and your doctor buddies can create a lifestyle and create a college based off that lifestyle. Cause you can't have this lifestyle if you don't go to my what college and speak my language about certain people or kinds of people and my social construct or my fishbowl. Cause remember Jesus did say I'm going to see you as fishers as men. But also, after he did that dumb ass shit, he started saying, Eloi, Eloi, Sabbathini. I forgot what it's called, color song. But it leads me to this color, to the colors. There's four primary colors, and the pale skin, I don't think they have it. Red, it allows us to be in hot and cold climates. That's why we come in a honey brown color, all different colors depending on the climate. In other words, my skin literally adapts to the climate. I'll turn close to a dark honey if I sit out there long enough and I don't get burnt and I should have slept out in this cold and didn't freeze so we understand that red part in it the blood the blue is the oxygen the air you breathe right the weather cause the blue ah uh, it needs the weather to carry seeds to the air, you know, just a lot of stuff. Uh, there's two more colors. Bone, or uh, Indian yellow, and bone black was the primary color. What is bone black? is when you actually take a bone or a nickel and sit his ass out in the sun. That's Africa. Bone black. Their bones have been blackened. That's their skin. So that makes sense. Indian red, the red in our bones allows us to go to cold and hot regions in the bone. Get the white bone, the bone, that part, that color of the bone is a ghost-like bone, so it makes sense for the pale skin to want to look bone white and wash up bones because it's in there bone structure or the genetic code. 
Uh, what's the other color? Yeah, these four. Red, blue, black, and white. One is the death of a bone. The white is the bone being exposed. Like you see a, if you see a, uh, like that color bone white, it's not beige. Bone white is actually a lot whiter than what people say. So you have a bone, burnt bone, you have a bone that's just sitting there, then you have red for blood, blue for what? Air. And so when you put these together in spirit, it forms a goyim. There's no spirit in these things yet. There's no spirit in the bone, there's no spirit in the blood, nor in the air oxygen the water's in the bone the white bone the gases and the toxins are in the what burnt bone I'm going to show this this real quick Let's do some more of this. Uh, it's three hours, but I'm not going to play the whole three hours. But nonetheless, the lady wanted to hustle my soul, man. Medical marijuana is... I'm, look, the reason why I'm on disability still, because I made a promise to a man, a doctor, who was really a reluctant to help me get in a place where I'm at right now. And I shared with him that I would not let you down, you would not be dis you know, disappointed. Because once people get some money or a little persistent check, whatever, they digress. And I, for one, is not a person who likes to go backwards. No. So I had to tell him, I said, so you really want me to go to your program after doctors from all over the country and on internet and blah, 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 where I talked about my pain and I got severe hip, spine, bone injuries, L4, 5, T2, and 3. And doctors here in Pittsburgh at UPMC a lot of them are amazed, a lot of people are amazed how the body can handle pain every day, all day, and not resort to drugs and alcohol, murder, and that result of saying, hey, because I'm in pain, now I gotta put you in pain, you know what I mean? Or because my scooter got stolen, now I didn't go to store somebody else's scooter. You know, I don't perpetuate hate. And so, um, in, these in these professions, this sole source of income is per perpetuating hate, mis in misinformation, defrauding people of their property, places, and prestige. Uh, they get a kick out of saying, hey, because I got the power to say, hey, you, the nah. No. So I rolled out. I'm out. You want me to... So there's one place that's called me. You know, we still do that. Get information. I'll get cool. Blah, 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 blah. Somebody come and says, you come on out here? I say, yeah, cool. What's cool? we we'll get you yarn. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm with that. Come on, give me a yarn. All right, cool. That's what I'm looking for, the yarn. And here they go. Well, you have America we wanna, we're gonna have to offer you a program. <coughs> Listen, that's my medication. So they run their shooter back. Okay, that's your medication, then tell us this. You can have a medical marijuana card. Yes. 
I bought a list of stuff in California, and you know, the federal government, everybody know, da -da -da. but Pennsylvania wants me to say, screw my doctors, and people who've been, who've been monitoring my pain and my threat.